I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com, and today we're going to do a first track ride recap on our 2015 Yamaha YZF R1 project bike. Went to Grant Raceway, rode with my friends from Sport Bike Track Time, SportBikeTrackTime.com. They put on the best track days out there. They had a practice day on Friday before the Wira races. Um, and I took the R1, as you see it sitting here right now. What have we done to it thus far? The Graves pipe was put on, it's that three-quarter system, catalinator exhaust. I went through and put the small block off plates in it. We got our Graves fender eliminator kit on there. That's a must for any street bike. And I got my Spiegler brake lines in the front and rear, and I did the ABS removal. Okay, so we're down to just standard brakes. That's really, that was my preference. One other minor modification I made to it was I actually drilled out, I'm sorry, I didn't drill out, but I tapped the shifter, the stock shifter, so that I could move the shift rod and use it as GP shift and still utilize that quick shifter, which for me on the racetrack was a must. I really prefer to use reverse shifting. Tires. I went out with the stock tires that came on the motorcycle. I set the air pressure in the morning. Uh, I believe I went with a cold 26 in the rear and a cold 28 in the front. Grant Raceway is one of my all-time favorite tracks. We've got a lot of history there. I got my lights all taped up, right? Everything I needed to do to get out there and ride and enjoy the bike. I gotta tell you, this is bar none the best motorcycle I have ever ridden in my entire life, especially in stock trim. The stock suspension was phenomenal, right? I wasn't pushing to 100%, not even close. I committed when I went out there that day that I'm going to ride well within myself. It's the first ride on the track of the year, and I'm on a street bike with plastics that probably cannot be replaced at this point. There's probably no stock of that stuff. So I was definitely erring to the side of caution, just wanted to take my time and really enjoy the motorcycle. The power is amazing. The stock fueling isn't bad, it does leave a little bit to be desired. We do have a flash tune kit, we're going to be doing that this week, it'll be good that I'll be able to experience the motorcycle with its stock fueling maps and then after we've done the flash tune, we're going to install of course the Graves map, which they've done a lot of work on, we'll show you how to do that this week. I'll be able to really feel and see the difference between the two. Stock suspension. The forks felt amazing. The shock, not bad. A little softer in the rear, right? Than I would have liked, right? So we're going to be correcting that this week. We've got an Owen shock to put on the rear, but the front fork was very impressive. Overall, the motorcycle handled great. It was very impressive. If you're on the fence at all, about buying one of these. Sign up now. Go get the bike. This is bar none the best thing you will ever throw a leg over. And the cool part is it's Yamaha, so you know it's going to be super reliable. Not to mention it's beautiful. There you go. That's my first ride. We're not going to talk lap times because for the first time in my life, I didn't put a lap time around the motorcycle. I literally just went out there, rode around, enjoyed the bike, had fun. For our next ride, we should have on slicks. I've got two sets of race body work sitting here. You'll see videos coming up for that as well. So hopefully I can go out and push the bike a little bit harder next time. I'm Brian Van, Sport Bike Track here.